we're just going to go get some fat bass in here. Today we're over at Shoot Stretch Lake, me and Luke Paris, and we're just morning, early morning bass fishing. Uh, woke up at like, say, 4.35, took a shower, uh, made sure that everything was in the truck. I already had my kayak loaded before, and headed out here. It was a longer drive than I thought, but made it out here. Um, caught a bass already on a fly rod and just caught this little rock bass from the lake here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to come eat with some shoot sprints action. Shoot sprints action. Alright, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to be whooping the fly rod today and the bait caster and maybe the spinning rod, but I like to catch them on the fly rod because it's a really fun fight, so see ya. What's up guys? So just caught this other guy. It's a good little ten incher. Little dink, but nice color on that guy. Dark color. Caught him on the mid rig. Shout out Joseph Cooper. So there's that release. There we go. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm doing here. So like I said, I got this uh net rig here. And I have these Yum dingers on. These are the uh, black and blue up top, green pumpkin on the bottom. Kind of a half mix. Uh, using a four rod jig head. That's what they are right there. And I'll just bite the top off them right here. Just make them a little bit shorter right by that hook hook mount right in there. And uh, right, right up in there. And I'll just work it really slow. So I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here. Pitch it towards the shore. And just slowly reel and work just like just like you're dragging a drop shot along the bottom. And you'll catch them right when they come up. Or, you know, right when you're pitched down there. But I've caught a lot of them. Right when I'm just bringing the lure up into the boat. And they're like, oh, this is my last chance at it. Sometimes when you're untangling your line, you'll get them too. But this really, you know, if it sits there, they'll eat it too. Put a little bit of sand on it, you know, so they hold on to it. But I'll go ahead and do that. Got this uh, shad wand right here. I just put a little bit on the hook, that's all it takes. And you're just gonna rub it on the worm. Somehow the shadow wand up top, so I kind of gotta dig the hook in there, put it on the hook, and put it up. I'm using the Ducket Ghost with a Lou Speed Spool. Uh, I think this is just the BB2 with the 71 to 1. And I got some uh, K9 fishing floor cover on there. So we've been out here probably 25 minutes. I've caught two and one rock bass. So just like I said, just work it really slow. Just drag it along the bottom. I'm trying to get y'all video where I catch one on camera. So I never have the camera rolling when I catch one. I don't know why. Happens to be that. Probably because I'm more concentrated on the camera. But I'm just waiting to have some rocks right here on the plank over at Shoots Ramp. Right over there. Looks over there. And got this, so. Come back to you guys when I catch them. Alright, guys, so Luke just caught this nice fish. Go ahead and hold it up. What do you say, like one, one, one and a half? Yeah. One and a half. Nice fish on the drop shot, robo worm. Nice fish. One and a half? Yeah. One and a half. Nice fish on the drop shot. Robo worm. Nice fish. 